everyone, we're going to take a look at synthetic division again, but we're going to have the two exceptions, or not the two exceptions, but the two times that it gets a little bit trickier to use synthetic division. And, and we did this example, this was example two. We did this previously by long division. So we know that the answer to this is going to be 4x squared minus 8x plus 15 minus 78 over 4x plus 5. And when you see the work that's involved in doing synthetic division for this, it might actually just be simpler for you to use long division. And, and that's fine, you can use either one. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. If I wanted to take a look at this, this would be the quotient 16x cubed minus 12x squared plus 20x minus 3 in ratio to 4x plus 5. But we run into a problem because we have a divisor, the binomial in our denominator does not have a coefficient of 1. So if I want to get this coefficient to be 1, I need to divide this term by 4. And you can't just divide one term by 4 because you would change your original problem. So I need to divide every single term in here by 4 and it will introduce fractions. So when I divide everything by 4, all right, if I divide 16x cubed by 4, I'm going to get 4x cubed. If I divide 12x squared by 4, I'm going to get minus 3x squared. If I divide 20x by 4, I'm going to get, I can do it, what, 5x, right? And if I divide negative 3 by 4, I'm going to get negative 3 fourths. All right, so you see that there's fractions getting introduced. That's the downside to using synthetic division when you have a binomial in your denominator where the lead coefficient isn't 1. All right, if I divide 4x by 4, I'm going to get x, and then 5 by 4, I'm going to get 5 fourths. All right. So at this point, let me put a little separation here. Ah. At this point, I'm ready to go. I have descending powers of x, and I haven't skipped over any. All right, we're going to do a skipped over in, in, when we get to part b here. So I'm going to put negative 5 fourths here. All right, and I have coefficients of 4, negative 3, 5, negative 3 fourths. And here we go. All right. So when the 4 comes down, I drop the 4 down. All right, I'll have 4. Negative 5 fourths times 4 is negative 5. Okay, great. Negative 5, excuse me, negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. That's also good. All right, negative 5 fourths times 8, if we do that, that would be negative 10. Oh, actually, no, it would be positive 10 because I have a negative times a negative. 5 plus 10 is 15, right? And those, those coefficients should seem familiar, right? So that's working. All right, so this is where things get to be a little bit of fun. So let me start to use my calculator because I'm going to have fractions and I'm going to use technology to help me. So I'm going to have 15 times negative 5 fourths. Now, if I want to see that as a fraction, I math frac it. It looks like it's negative 75 fourths. All right, I need to add negative 3 fourths to that. And let me math frack again. It looks like we're at negative 39 halves. All right. Okay, so if I'm going to be using synthetic division, right, at this point, I'm going to come down here. I know that this is 4x squared minus 8x plus 15 minus, I have 39 halves on my numerator, and I have x plus 5 fourths on my denominator. So you can see how convoluted that is, right? And really, I don't want to have fractions in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the LCD of the numerator and denominator. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4. So I'm going to manipulate this fraction so I don't have such an ugly looking expression. So we're working with 4x squared minus 8x plus 15. Okay, minus. Let's see what this turns into. Let's take 39 halves and multiply it by 4. I'm getting 78 on that numerator. Now, I need to multiply 4 to this binomial. I'm going to need to distribute. Well, 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 5 fourths is 5. And there we have it, right? We see my quotient was the same thing that I got in example 2. 
I would just argue that it's probably a little bit more convoluted to have to deal with this particular quotient using synthetic division as compared to what we did in example two. And let me just show you what we did in example two, right? We had to deal with long division, which might be more to write, but fractions didn't show up here. So you have to decide which one works for you. I go back and forth. I, I still, I, I might use long division in this or I might use synthetic division. All right, so let's take a look at one more example. I want you to see the one other thing that can kind of jam up your synthetic division. All right. I, what I want you to notice here is I have a binomial in the denominator and that coefficient is one. That's great, but do you see that there is no x squared term? I want you to look at the numerator and notice that there is no x squared term. So I skipped over x squared. All right, so if you want synthetic division to work, what you're gonna need to do is you'll still put negative three in the house, but you need a placeholder. So you have four x cubes. You have to put a placeholder of zero here. You have to take note that I had no x squared terms. I've got an 11 and I've got a negative 10, okay? And then once you have that zero as that placeholder, you're good to go. And if, let's say my, my numerator was just four x cubed minus 10, then I would have four, zero, zero, and minus 10. So you just have as many zeros as, as you need placeholders for. And then we rock and roll. So we'll go four, three times, or excuse me, negative three times four, negative 12, zero minus 12, negative 12, negative three times negative 12, 36. This will be 47. All right, negative three times 47. Well, if I did negative three times 50, that would be 150 and I need to lose nine. So I think we're at negative 141. And then this would be what, negative 151. All right, so I've got my numbers. So if I wanna figure out what this quotient is, started with x cubed, I'm gonna lose a power. So this is four x squared minus 12 x plus 47 minus, I have 151 in ratio to x plus three. So that's what this quotient is equal to. And just to remind you, just for fun, if you wanted to, you could multiply this entire equation by x plus three and you could rewrite this as my numerator is equal to this quotient, or at least the first part of that quotient times x plus three minus 151. And that again would come from multiplying this side of the equation by the LCD and this side of the equation by the LCD. All right, so with that, that gets us out of section 5.4. I'm hoping you are seeing that you can use long division to divide polynomials and synthetic division to, to divide polynomials. I'm a big fan of synthetic division. I use it most of the time. Like I said, there's about one exception that we'll get to in section 5.6 where I use long division. All right, so with that, we're gonna take this idea of synthetic division and we're really gonna try and figure out zeros of polynomials, function values of polynomials, and how to factor polynomials when we get to section 5.5. All right, I'll see you in a few. Thanks gang, bye.